Hi all, so in this video, we're gonna talk about how to create tables from Python regression output, right? So as you guys have seen in the um, in our other video, which says how to code a full uh, finance paper from scratch in Python, that code at the end of it will get you regression. First of all, it'll get you summary statistics first, and then it'll get you regression output. And so the question is, how do we then convert that those summary statistics and the, that regression output into tables like you would see in a in a publication or in a paper and the answer is this right so here as you can see we have some sample tables right table one is summary statistics table two is a simple regression and then table three is a is a more complex regression with an interaction term um and so as you can see here what we do is really all we all it takes is to take the output of the summary statistics and type them into here right so for analyst earnings surprise which, which is basically sue right you this is the first percentile this is the 25th percentile this is the 50th percentile this is 75th percentile this is 90th percentile this is 95th percentile this is 99th this is the mean right and this is the number of observations and so really all you have to do is just take the numbers from the summary statistics and enter them here. So for analyst earnings surprise, you enter them in this row. For analyst sales surprise, you enter them in this row. For three-day return, you enter it in this row. For market value, you enter it in this row. For sales, you enter it in this row. For book to market, you enter it in this row. And so as you guys will see, or as you have seen, if you've watched the video, um, all you, you just have to get the summary stats from uh, the output of the... Um, full finance paper video and and insert them in here and then sim similar for value firms the summary stats for value firms you take the, those and you enter them here and then the summary stats for growth firms uh in the analyst earnings uh, the analyst su subset you enter them here so analyst earnings surprise from the for growth firms goes here analyst sales surprise from growth firms goes here etc um and then then finally, we have this uh, table of PLB. This is the all firm subsample. So this is for seasonal random walk and random walk. So you enter the, the summary stats here. Uh, and then table one panel E value firm subsample, you enter the earning the, the summary stats there. And then table one panel F seasonal random walk and random walk growth firm subsample, you enter them here. Okay, and then when it comes to the two day or when it comes to table two, as you can see there, you have, you put a, a brief description of the table up here, and then you put the two models we're running. So the first model is three-day return regressed on earnings surprise. The second model is three-day return regressed on sales surprise, right? And so, um, so you put the regression coefficient here, you put the T stat here. Um, you can also put the P value, which if you wanted to put T stat, you can put T stat. If you want to put P value, put P value. But then just make sure you update um, update this, you know, say request T statistics. If you put T statistics or put, you know, P values or report in the parentheses if you use P values. All right. Then you use table two, which is the three day return on earnings and sales surprise. But this time we're talking about seasonal random walk, right? So you run the regressions here and here you're just rest, regressing three day return on earnings surprise, seasonal random walk. Here you're regressing three day return on um, sales surprise, seasonal random walk. Here you're regressing uh, three-day return on random walk earnings surprise. Here you're regressing three-day return on random walk sales surprise. So anyway, it's it's relatively simple, and this is just you know uh, these regression coefficients and the t stats you'll get simply from the regression output uh, and the adjusted r squared you'll get from the regression output and the and the number of observations you'll get. So you just have to take the numbers out of the regression output and plug them in here. Similarly here, just take the numbers out of the regression input, plug them in here. And then for the three-day return on earnings and sales surprise with value dummy and value dummy and direction term, this is really just the same thing. Um, first of all, this should have a, um, this should be like SUE times dummy variable plus the dummy variable plus epsilon. And this should be SUR plus SUR interacted with the dummy variable 
plus the dummy variable loan plus epsilon. Okay. And so this gives you, this is model one, as you can see here, model one, and this is model two, which corresponds to model two here. So all you have to do is run this regression, take the coefficients, take the T stats and plug them in here along with adjusted R squared and N. And if it's statistically significant at like the 1% level, you put three stars and bold it. If it's statistically significant at the two, at 5% level, you put two stars and bold it. If it's statistically significant at the 1% level, you put one star and bold it. Anyway, so I hope you found that helpful. I'm going to leave uh, a link to this, uh, this sort of table structure in the description. And so if you guys need, uh, you know, if you need sort of a table tables to input your stuff and input your summary stats and regression coefficients into, you can use this as a sample table. Um, and that way you'll have clean looking tables uh, to use in your paper. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.